In exactly seven days, as most other Kenyans prepare to celebrate Valentine's Day, the lives of two Kenyans in Somalia abducted by Al-Shabaab militia will be hanging on a thread. The Al-Shabaab militia has threatened that on 14th of February, it will execute Edward Yesemule, a district officer of Burderi district in Wajir, and Frederick Irungu Wainaina, a registrar of persons official in the same district. Over 100 Al-Shabaab militia invaded Guerrilla town and killed seven people, including three APs, during an attack on the administration police camp in January 12th, 2012. Al-Shabaab, through their HSM Press Twitter account, posted photos of 31-year-old Edward Yese and 57-year-old Frederick Irungu Minor, whom they described as prisoners of war and threatened to kill them if terror suspects held in Kenyan cells are not released in three weeks. To us as a family, we might not be able to meet the demands of Al-Shabaab because it is beyond us as a family. We have no authority, we have no power to release the pirates who have been jailed in Kenya. But we request that uh, members of Al Shabaab uh, understand the situation we are going through. Kenyan Defense Forces, which has been accused of laxity in rescue efforts by families of the abductees, says they are being cautious about the issue. We've always been doing something about that, you know. Uh, part of what we are doing is to ensure that we capture more ground. And as we cap capture ground, they're getting closer and closer to having them. Defence Forces Minister Yusuf Haji has in the past said KDF will not negotiate with terrorists and KDF spokesman Cyrus Oguna says Al-Shabaab should release the Kenyan abductees unconditionally. Yeah, Al-Shabaab should not even begin, you know, to um, twist the, the Kenyan government in terms of asking for ransom or even putting condition, They should release them unconditionally. Two weeks ago, Twitter suspended the Al-Shabaab run Twitter account at HSM Press two days after they used the platform to announce the death threat against the Kenyan hostages. But two weeks later, they are back on the social site. We request Al-Shabaab to have a human heart and uh, spare the lives of Kenyan hostages. Uh, we are, Kenya government has a role to play to mediate and ensure that the Kenyans come back home alive. The hours continue to fly by, each with an increasing sense of despair for the families faced with the question of whether they will ever see their sons alive. The Kenyan government continues to make promises that it is working round the clock to bring them back home safe more than a year down the line. For JSO at 7, I'm Dennis Okari.